What's up guys? Brian back to do a Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, discussion, topics, video, just talk. It's Wednesday, August 24th, so that's here's the trivia question. Let's get it going. It's kind of weak. But, season four, episode six, David is dying of. David is the father of Lily, the person who the governor meets. David is dying of swine flu, prostate cancer, hepatitis, or lung cancer. If you pick David is dying of lung cancer, you are correct. Lung cancer literally asked the governor to retrieve oxygen tanks to ease David's suffering. So there you go, guys. August 24th, Wednesday. So what's going on? Well, we just had vacation. We were in, uh, we went to Universal and did a couple other things there. And uh, we'll talk about that in another video. But basically, Fear the Walking Dead came back on... Sunday, this past Sunday, we'll talk about that, we'll talk about The Walking Dead, we'll talk about a couple other things like that. So, like yesterday, August 23rd, the Blu-ray, complete six season Blu-ray digital copy of the season six Walking Dead came out. Did you pick it up? Did you not get it? Get it at Walmart, Amazon, whatever. I believe it's $39.99 on Amazon. And I don't know, I'm not a person who usually buys Blu-rays. I'll usually watch it on demand or watch it online or, or something they're doing on Netflix or something like that. But it looks pretty cool, the stuff they have for the commentaries on there too. We did a whole video about commentaries. There's a bunch of them that we got from an Entertainment Weekly article. If you want to check those out, you get to see what you're getting. Um, it's pretty cool. The, the story that Norman or Greg Nicotero talks about, Norman, he talked about on the cruise where Norman was late to set and he <laughs> started taking off his clothes and running the set because they have to have so, they have so many people on set and stuff. It's a whole big story on there too. I'm going to see if I can find it on the Walker Stalker Cruise because we did a whole, I, took, I recorded like the whole panel on them and it was pretty cool to see if they had that story. I'll put it up on there. Uh, Walking Dead News, they're filming a bunch of different things in Hampton and stuff and they're, they're wrapping up the mid-season finale today. Tomorrow I believe they'll be in Alexandria and or they're filming episode 10. A couple different spots we have the latest news on that and the recent video from the Spoiling Dead fans. If you haven't followed them on Facebook definitely give them a follow. The Walking Dead Spoilers, that group on Facebook is group as great as well. Just want to give them a shout out. Plus there's many other sources of comicbook.com and Entertainment Weekly and Dead Talk, what is this song, Daily Dead and everything like that too. But let's talk about Fear of the Walking Dead. Now I know a lot of people hate that show, don't like the show, like the show. Whatever you're thinking about the show, I think it's, it's okay, it's eh, it's Walking Dead, so it's going to draw me in and it's going to draw things into the show. So basically, spoilers ahead, if you don't know about Fear of the Walking Dead, but I do the review of it, um, it was okay. They'll just say that it was the Nick heavy episode, and I think he's the biggest driving force of that show anyway. You know, I don't really like a lot of the characters on there. Nick's probably Nick and uh, what's his face, uh, Daniel, are the ones I like. And we don't know if Daniel's alive. Hopefully he is. But basically, Nick didn't do much in the episode besides walk around, get beat up, get tore up. Found that he was, you know, could make it through the survivor. He was a survivor on there too. And yeah, he is, he's, you know, been in this world before the zombie apocalypse started. So I thought the good thing that they did was that they showed you the connection with the father that he died before the before this all started. He didn't really get a chance to say goodbye. It was kind of an abrupt death on there. And you got to see the woman that is with. Uh, Nick. I, I, I believe her name is Gloria or something. I don't remember. But either way, that's Patient Zero. And I watched Fear the Talking Dead, and they had the producer, the, the latest uh, woman in there too, I think Victoria or whatever her name is. I don't remember her name, but either way, her, her name is like Denai Garcia. And it's so crazy how many good Denais are there, you know? <laughs> but it's a Y instead of an I instead of Denai Guerrero who plays Michonne. Denai Garcia is the woman on Fear the Walking Dead, and then Madison was there. And the other thing is that they talked about patient zero. So patient zero is the big thing that I want to talk about because that's a big thing. So that's basically the girlfriend of Nick that was in rehab with him because this is, takes place before The Walking Dead. Fear of The Walking Dead is first, then The Walking Dead. And basically they show her doing drugs. And she overdoses from that clearly because 
they're wearing the same outfits. She has the same, you know, oversized t-shirt or whatever, the, whatever she's wearing. And Nick's wearing the weird <laughs> pirate outfit thing. I don't know what he's wearing. But she puts the belt on, about to, you know, shoot up with the drugs, and she dies. Because that's the same outfit on there, too. So let's talk about the start of the apocalypse with this drug addict. That's kind of the whole start of this whole thing. But then we're all infected. I don't do drugs. A lot of people don't do drugs. So if you're not doing drugs, then how would you be infected to start this whole thing? You know, was it a bad batch of drugs that started this whole thing? They got in there, but that could be contained. You know, that was in California versus what's happening in Atlanta where you see Rick and everything gets started that way too. And then the CDC guy says we're all infected. So what happens on there as well? So I guess it's just that she was the first person to have that in her system or something. I don't know. But the spoon looked contaminated. It looked gross. It looked terrible. It just looked a great way to die. And that's the way, the way it happened. So I don't know if we're ever going to get an explanation of how The Walking Dead started or how this everything, how, you know, we became infected. You know, and I don't know if we're going to get resolution to the ending of, you know, civilization, how we're going to move on from all this, too. So, I don't think The Walking Dead is going to do that type of show. I think they're just going to make us guess. They're going to make us wonder about it. So, have these discussions like this. So, I don't know. I thought it was an okay episode. It was kind of cool to see a different community and a doctor and a whole different world of Fear the Walking Dead and Tijuana. I don't buy for a second that he walked 100 miles to Tijuana. I mean, give me a break. That's ridiculous. He's got no food. He's drinking his own piss. He's got no water. He can't take care of himself. He's bit by a dog. He's walking like whatever. He's going to die. It rains on him. It's the only way he survives. And he he makes it to Tijuana. She's like got the woman to test him to see if he can make it out alive. He makes it to the community. And then we'll see how crazy that community is going to be. Because there's not going to be some great sanctuary. There hasn't been one yet in the world of Walking Dead. Terminus was crazy. This place is going to be crazy. The lady with uh, Celia, that whole compound is going to be crazy. It's just nuts. There's no like sanctuary that, that makes sense to be like, okay, guys, we're going to rebuild the earth, rebuild the population. We're going to be able to farm, eat, take care of ourselves, be self-sufficient in this world. We have food. We have water. We have farmland. We have safety, security. We have walls. We don't have anything. They had that in the prison, and the governor destroyed that. They had this in Woodbury, and they burned it down. They had this. It was just like, you can't ever find a sanctuary. Alexandria, hopefully that stays. Hilltop, hopefully that stays. Hopefully all these places, you know. Hopefully the sanctuary falls, but we'll see. But either way, it's like kind of crazy. There's no world that's safe in the world of the walking dead. And I guess that's the way they like it. They keep moving. They keep adjusting. They keep having these new groups and everything there, too. So, if you're the walking dead... It's an okay episode. It's an okay show. You know, people love it. People hate it. People disagree with it. That's fine. But I don't know. I think it's okay. We'll just go with okay. Um, Walking Dead, we have a bunch of videos we just posted there too. The latest one we posted there too was about Shane being like Rick. Now, I can't convert everyone to believe that too. Some people are going to hate Shane. Some people are going to love Shane. Some people are going to love Rick. Some people are going to this. I like Rick. I like Shane. I like Michelle. And I like all these people on there too. But ultimately... I see it as Rick started off as this guy was like that too. And Shane was, yeah, he was over the top. I don't give him a pass on the CDC thing with Lori, the thing with Otis, the, the couple things on there too. He tried to kill Rick. He tried to do that. Everything is there. He should have just left. He should have been there too. But the whole Lori thing complicated everything. And that's why I don't like Lori. I think she's the worst character on the show. She made the world a more complicated place on there. Check out that video if you want to. See more about how we relate Rick and Shane together. They're very similar in a lot of aspects. Basically, Alexandria Rick became or has become a lot like Shane in a lot of different aspects there too. Yes, he doesn't go over the top and he wouldn't do this and he wouldn't sacrifice this person. He wouldn't do that, but he hasn't been put in the same situation. All I can say is is watch season two of The Walking Dead and look at Shane in an open eyes perspective because... You see it, it was on yesterday on Great 38, or whatever we watch occasionally on there today, the Walking Dead channels, and they play the older episodes. I've seen a lot of season one and a lot of season two on there. And some I think I've even seen part of season three on there, but also my season one and season two. And the last thing I want to say about that is, is Shane got a raw deal for various reasons. But ultimately, when Carl the, it was on the episode yesterday, when Carl gets shot. Herschel's like, we need to find this. We got to get the fragments of the bullets out. We got to have this. We got to have that thing. If he moves, we're going to sever an artery on there too. And Otis says, you're going to need a respirator. You're going to need this. What else are you going to need? Well, the hospital burned up. What about the school? There was this. And then Shane volunteered to go 
He volunteered to go by himself. He stepped up to the plate and said, look, I'm going to get the stuff that you need. And then Otis said, well, you don't know what you're going to get, right? And, and Shane's like, no way. I don't know what I'm doing. So then he goes with that and ultimately was the demise of Otis and, the, and more the tone of getting crazy Shane in there too. And you can't go full Shane. You can't do all that. But ultimately, Shane got shit done. He wanted to protect the group and he should have just left and came back to the prison when needed and whatever and maybe died there or whatever I would have liked to have seen. Or had the possibility of coming back. You never know down the road. So, I don't know. That's just our discussion. Check out the video on there if you want to see more. Weigh in on there too. It's a discussion. You're not gonna, you're not gonna like everything that we say. We're not gonna like everything you say. We're not gonna agree. We're gonna agree to disagree, and it's fine. And that's fun part of Walking Dead. You know, some people love certain characters. I hate certain characters. The top ten of ours that we most hated, disliked characters is not gonna be the same for everybody. Some people hate Carl. Some people love Carl. So it depends probably on your age or demographics who you see yourself as too. Probably a teenager kid, middle school kid likes Carl. Most people have to find him a warning little brat, but when he was younger too. So either way, I think he's turned the tide and whatever, but ultimately people like the show for different reasons, so just be respectful of that too, and we are. So we got that going on, guys. But, you know, more Fear the Walking Dead. I guess that'll hold us over until the Walking Dead August, August, October 23rd, which is less than two months, guys. It's August 24th. October 23rd, it comes back. We can't wait two months. Let the countdown begin. Here we go, guys. Can't wait. We can make it. Like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, many other videos, post your comments below, guys. What do you want to see? And uh, thanks, guys. You guys are awesome.